Infamous Adventures presents. <laughs> Space Quest! Chapter 2. Roho's Revenge. Oh, this looks fancy, you guys, huh? Okay, SBC, the Letter Droid Show. So, let's bring on that hero of heroes, that Sarian sanitizer, that space-age swashbuckler, the man you know and love, Roger Wilco! <laughs> so, Roger Wilco, hero of Xenon, how goes it? Well, I just flew in from Vega 9, and boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> oh, Roger. So, tell us, how did you manage to defeat all of those nasty Sarians? Those Sarians were a piece of cake. I had no problem cleaning their clocks. Whoever planned to steal the star generator didn't know who they were messing with. Whoa, that's some um, pretty tough talk there, eh? What do you think, Paul? Uh, yep. Pretty tough talk. <laughs> do you see him in a robotic uh, Paul What's-His-Face? Do you worry about retribution, Roger? Revenge? Nah. I hear their leader is a real hoser. Hoser? Some guy named Overhaul or U-Haul. Something stupid <laughs> like that. In fact, he's probably cowering in some deep dark cave somewhere. Anyway, let me tell you about the time I wrestled this spider droid. Return to Monkey, eh? Okay, play Xenon Orbital Station. Four. As you will oh. recall in our last chapter, you had just foiled the Sarian fiendish plot to rule the galaxy by using the Star Generator as their weapon of destruction. You became a hero by saving countless lives and returning the Star Generator technology into safe hands. Life was beautiful. But heroes come and go, and people soon forget. Your celebrated herodom slowly fades, leaving you, once again, a janitor. The promotion to head janitor was no consolation, especially since you are the only member of the janitorial staff, nor was the transfer to Orbital Station 4. Sweating like a pork beast in a pressure suit while relocating space debris in zero gravity just wasn't your idea of a good time. Life sucks, again. <laughs> Life sucks, I know. Okay. Orbital Station 4 is one of many orbiting Xenon, your home planet. It is a transfer point for travelers seeking transportation to the various planets in the Ernon system. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. As we begin this chapter of our story, we find you, Roger Wilco, Ace Janitor, doing what you do best. <whistles> A beep emanates from your wristwatch. You release your grip on the broom. Oh, oh no. Oh, damn it. The broom floats away, never to be used again. That makes the third one this week. Wait till your boss finds out. Okay, so I have this thing. What is this? Oh! 
Oh, an eye watch. Okay. 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 You are whisked away to the airlock chamber. Stand by for decontamination. Ooh. Oh, hey, it's like Simon says. I'm just gonna get undressed. Okay, okay, so now... Oh, I have some stuff. This is an order form you removed from a magazine for a free Le'Veon Terror Beast mating whistle. It's ready to be mailed. Hmm, okay. The dialect translator is a small device. It is on. Okay, there's probably something in the in the in the in one of my lockers here, whichever one is mine. You can't access anybody else. Okay. You can't Okay, the middle one's mine. You open the only locker for which you have a combination. Pew! <laughs> putrid waves of stench waft forth. You can't recall the last cleaning it received. You bravely peer into the locker to find a cubic's room puzzle and your athletic supporter, which you take. <laughs> My athletic supporter. You can't a you Is it, um... <laughs> okay, that's my athletic sip otter. This is your athletic supporter. Without close inspection, you notice it to be well used. <laughs> I used a used cup. Mm. The Cubics Rube puzzle has made you look stupid more than usual. Let's see what's on. Oh! That's about time you got in here, Wilco. Head with the shuttle bay on the double. I'm warning you, you're on your last leg around here, bud. One more screw up, and your history. Bob, send Roger here directly to the shuttle bay and nowhere else until the job is completed. You hear that, Wilco? No napping in closets. He's still scratching his ass. Jeez, okay, some hero I am, right? I saved Xenon and no one gives a shit, huh? Can I look at this crewman? These crew people are working hard. He's a balding man. Luminous veins stand in bold defiance to the planes of his temples. Funny, you think? He looked much healthier when you first came aboard. Can I smell my co-workers, <laughs> you guys? Stop smelling the crew. Stop smell- No, no. Bob smells funny. Okay, can I smell my captain? I'm smelling your boss could get you fired. Okay, let's try and tongue my boss, huh? Maybe he'll give me a promotion. Licking your boss would get you fired. Even if it got you promoted, you would likely end up wishing for the rest of your after hours life on Xenon 4 that you got fired. <laughs> I'm just stuck blowing my boss from now until the end of time. Okay, uh, can I talk to any, any of these guys? Chief's not happy with you, Roger. Better get over to the shuttle bay soon. By oh. the way, you still owe me 20 bucket boys. You'd best cough it up soon. Okay, no, no, no. Um, okay, I can actually talk to some of these turkeys, right? Okay, can I? Okay, there we go. Ooh. Oh, shit. Is this a mini game? No, okay. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just say no to Syrians. Estros vacation. Oh, 609 Bacazoids. Dave Letter Droid. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the people you trust. Okay, I'm really I'm really RPing as like Roger here. I was just like, okay, why the fuck am I here? Was I supposed to clean something? But I'm just going around standing here like an idiot, huh? You press the oh. big button marked shuttle bay door. It feels hot and the screen is turning green from the heat. This thing has seen better days. Okay, okay. I, I almost expected that to be a death scene. It's like, oh no, I got sucked into space, right? Oh. You enter the shuttle and start sniffing around for the mess you must clean. You are surprised to find that the shuttle is not empty. There are two extremely ugly suckers walking toward you. Hey, what the? Your favorite expletive here. <laughs> Your favorite expletive here. Oh shit, is this a death scene? Thwack, boff, <laughs> bink. Your protest is cut short as two interstellar ruffians proceed to thump you unconscious. Everything fades. 
Did I die? <laughs> um, is that death scene? Time passes. More time passes. A strange dream turns into the realization that you are being shaken and talked to by a voice unfamiliar to you. A dull ache triggers a distant memory of a scuffle in which you were the focal point. Upon awakening from your forced rest, it becomes quite apparent that you aren't in Kansas, uh, Xenon anymore. You find that you are being held upright and under physical restraint from both sides by, you guess, the galactic goons you met on the shuttle. As you try to struggle free, you notice that your hands are tied behind your back. As your eyes dial into focus, you make out an oddly disfigured being seated before you. Oh. <laughs> Evil boss music. He is a sagging mass of flesh that appears to have been human at one time. Tubes and wires extend from his body, leading to machines which keep him alive. Well, well, did we have a nice mm. nap? I thought we would have to resort to drastic measures to wake you. Oh, well. Welcome to my humble fortress, Roger Wilco. The name is Vohal. Sludge Vohal. I was the genius behind the star generator when it was in its concept stages. It was to be my ultimate war weapon until some sissy man scientist decided to be ready to saving lives rather than destroying them. What a waste of technology. Excuse me if I sound bitter. Anyway, you ruined my Sarian operation. I was going to use the star generator to make Xenon pay for what they did to me. They were going to know my wrath in a big way. You somehow managed to change all that. Oh, I suppose I should have known better than to use those mental midget Sarians. That's not the point, however. You're responsible, and you shall pay. Besides, I have another plan, and you'll not be around to foil it. I have devised a plan so horrible, so frightening, so diabolical that no one will be able to stop me. Observe my latest creation. I intend to infest your planet with thousands of these genetically engineered door-to-door -door life insurance salesmen. No, please. I will at last reap sweet revenge from a scientific community that mocked me. My plan was to kill you, but I've had a change of heart. <laughs> Get it? He peers down at the hoses protruding from his chest, which are connected to a life support system. Forgive me. I'm a kidder. I've decided I would get much more enjoyment watching you suffer. My associates will escort you to the wonderful little planet Blavion, where you will perform many painful hours of manual labor in my mines. Be seeing you. We're going to Labia? Okay, doesn't sound half bad. An injection renders you unconscious. Your drugged carcass is loaded onto a shuttle. Upon reviving, you look through the viewing port to see Vohal's massive asteroid fortress getting smaller. Is that a monkey? Oh yes, of course! Touching down on a giant landing platform, you are ushered to a hovercraft waiting to transport you to the mining site. Utter despair sets in. Okay, this is far too, you know, in-depth for this to be a death scene. Okay, this was supposed to happen. Forgetting to do it. Wait till the master finds out. You're in big trouble. Hey, don't talk to me that way, you slime bucket. I filled it last time, dipshit. The argument between the two guards is cut short as gravity reasserts itself. Oh, God. Okay, that was fast. Oh, oh, good. They died. 
Good thing that guard broke your fall. Okay. He oh. doesn't look too happy about it, though. What? What is that? Is that the shuttle making that noise? The guard appears to be less thick than you remember him. Many of his formerly contained body fluids seem to be at large. Ouch! That looks painful. Oh, da oh shit. What was that? Okay, something pink. Some, some pink thing, okay. The hovercraft has been reduced to a mound of twisted wreckage. Everything that was straight is bent. Everything that was bent is benter. <laughs> There appear to be no salvageable parts. You hear a high-pitched beeping sound coming from somewhere inside the wreckage. You didn't notice it during the flight. It must have come on as a result of the crash. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. I... Uh, just lick it! Ouch. Yes, that still has energy. Perhaps you should find a better way to test these things. No, no. It tastes like cold metal and leaves an oily aftertaste. What did you expect? A small device resembling a battery rests in the ship's innards. A hole in the ship has left its insides exposed. Okay, uh, do I want that? The crash rendered most of this stuff useless. Besides, what would you do with that? You carefully remove the piece of unstable ordnance and pocket it. Doing so causes the high-pitched beeping to stop. For some reason, I got this sense of doom right before taking that. Oh no. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Wait, 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 wait. It's the piece of unstable ordnance you recovered from the shuttle wreck. Well, okay, I got points, but uh, yeah, the unstable ordnance is also from Space Quest 4, right? Okay, can I search the... Oh, okay. You search the grotesque body and find a small, thin, magnetic card. It looks like a key card. You seem to recall seeing one somewhere in the past. Okay, okay, how about this one? Leave the guard alone. He has been through a lot. Okay, it just takes... You have everything okay. you need from the wrecked craft. You attempt to lift the hovercraft. As you heave and grunt, you feel something give way in the groin region. You wisely give up. <laughs> my, <laughs> in the groin region. Arrgh, my groin! Okay, let's, let's see what they smell like. You detect no unusual fragrance. At least not yet. Soon, though, these bodies may be generating some serious bouquet. Oh, serious bouquet. You detect... You're one twisted mofo. The only other person I know who would try that is Mark Crow. <laughs> One of the devs. Okay. They said mofo! You Ooh. startle a small creature. It could be a rabbit, but for its green fur and orange spots. Oh, oh shit, it's coming towards me. No. Okay, okay, it's harmless. You are standing in a dark and damp portion of the forest. There are some very large mushroom-like growths here. Okay, you don't say. You don't say, narrator. Oh, gee. Oh, shit. Oh, god damn it, man. Holy jeez, boy. That mushroom thing sucked you clean up. You can't move a muscle nor see a speck of light. Uh, am I dead? I'm feeling waves of tingling warmth and moisture. Suddenly, it's not so bad in here. Wow, check out the colors, dude. <laughs> Your body and mind enjoyed the short-lived buzz that is a side effect of the lethal poison you now marinate in. You are oblivious to the end. Not a bad way to go, actually. But it sure is early in the game. I had high hopes for you. They said, who? Roger Wilco? Not a chance. That chump won't last 20 minutes. I said, no way. Roger isn't that lame. So anyway, don't make me look stupid, too. Okay, no, I'm dead. Oh, what a trip! The toxic gases in here leave you with a few imaginary pals to talk to as you enjoy your fatal but far out trip. Okay, am I not supposed to go here or something? Oh, or, or, okay, there's a bunny thing. Oh! The startled bunny has fallen into the formerly concealed pit. Oh, okay. You peer into the hole and see the formerly alive bunny, now a mangled corpse, on the end of some large, sharpened sticks. Oh dear. Don't want to do this. You reach into the deep, dark hole and pull out the bunny. How the hell did you do that? That hole is obviously longer than your arm. I guess realism isn't a concern here in the future. 
and I put it in my pocket. Okay. Oh, look at this thing. It's the bloody carcass of the adorable bunny-like creature you found. Okay, okay. Do I put the unstable ordinance in the bunny and then they eat it and then they explode, huh? You shove the unstable ordinance up a readily available orifice of the dead creature. You're a sick <laughs> man, Roger. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a loaded bunny. Oh, okay. Okay. No. Oh, oh, there's something back here. You hear something? It sounds not unlike the hovercraft you wrecked it. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hall's troops have tracked you down and passed sentence for your escape. Tough luck, eh? They just fucking killed me? I thought you wanted me for slave labor. Janitor for life. Stealth never really was a skill of yours. Then again, you don't have any skills. Full stop. Is it like Space Quest 1 where I can just hide behind the tree or something? Oh, maybe. Oh, oh. Uh, come on, Roger. This is uncool. It looks like you've adhered yourself to this tree like a fly to flypaper. And speaking of insects, here comes a swarm now. Oh, jeez. That's a death scene? That's another death scene. Are you kidding me? You'll be proud to know that you have filled today's nutritional requirements for many of the local carnivorous insects. Adventuring is not always pretty. <laughs> I can't fucking but oh my god. Am I just supposed to hurry the Am I supposed to just hurry the fuck up? Oh! Suddenly from somewhere to the east, you hear a twang, followed by a high-pitched shriek. Oh my god, okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, and there's a nice little tune here. Oh, it's it's that it's that thing that was looking at me. The little creature caught in the snare has thick looking pinkish skin. He looks to be less than a meter tall. He doesn't seem too thrilled with this predicament. Okay, what's this smell like? You don't want to get that close to the little dude. What do you think this is, Lover's Leap? <gasps> okay, okay. Who are you? He doesn't. He no. doesn't. Oh, he doesn't. Okay, okay, is he dangerous or. Ow! Oh, damn it. You feel some corrosive acid oh, shit. on the bark of the tree. Oh, shit, is that. Okay, no. Um. On the back of the tree, you see a heart carved into the bark. Above it, the word predator has been laser uh -huh. with surgical precision, and beneath it, the word alien has been burned into dark bark with some kind of acid. Oh, okay, yes! Yes, those two belong together, huh? Do I want to... He looks friendly enough, but maybe this guy will kill me? I don't know. Okay, points. You quickly untie the little guy. No, no, what? Before disappearing through a tiny hole in the brush, the little pink dude gives you a long look. He looked at me. He looked at me all sensually, huh? Was I supposed to do that? I don't know. Did I soft lock myself? This tattered old rope? You don't need it. There's a nice strong piece of rope later in the game. Oh, okay. Thanks for the heads up, game. Can I just hide? Okay. <laughs> Stupid monkeys. After a tense moment, Vohal's thug failed to spot you and is off to search elsewhere. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, okay, there's a mailbox here. The mailbox looks typical for a mailbox. There is a slot, a tray, and a sign. The sign says Radical Express, when it totally no doubt for sure has to be there a while previously. <laughs> The spores are light blue and bulb-shaped. They seem to be loosely attached to the ground. Okay, that is probably a death if I step on them. The soft grass looks soothing to you. The alien foliage... Okay, can I smell? Uh, uh, stop scratching, Roger. Can I smell them? You, you need to get closer. Okay, it's baiting me. You need to get closer. You need to get... There's a mailbox here, and there's this, there's this form. This is an order form you removed from a magazine for a free Le'Veon Terror Beast mating whistle. It's ready to be mailed. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I use that here, and although that sounds- that doesn't sound good. A Le'Veon Beast mating whistle. Um, you know, um... Obviously if I blow it, well, I'm gonna- I'm gonna be hunting some serious buffaloes, right? But I'd probably use that to get rid of something else, perhaps, eh? Points? You drop the order form into the box. Okay, uh... Oh! The mailbox hums and buzzes for a while. Then an object of some sort drops into the tray at the base of the box. 
the machine goes silent. Oh, okay. Intergalactic mail. I thought I had to, like, leave and come back, but it's right there. The tray, which is actually a small indentation in the lower part of the machine, is currently bearing what looks to be a whistle. You take the whistle. Obviously. The tray, which... Okay. I don't... The whistle is usual looking. Okay, I don't want to blow this right now. I think I have an idea of what's going to happen if I... Oh, shit. <laughs> if I, if Thanks I do. to some fancy footwork, you are now picking yourself up off the ground after surviving a fall down a small cliff. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh wait, 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 wait. You could try. Can I get back up? Oh, shit, can I get back up? I think this is a death, but let's, let's see. The smell makes you feel dizzy. Whatever is in these things must be extremely noxious. Probably a death, but let's see. Do you really want to do that? What happens if I click it again? Really? Really? Oh, really? No, okay, it doesn't let me. It doesn't fucking let me. You take Ooh, possession okay. of one of the spores, being careful not to mistakenly break it open. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that if I step on it. You seem to have kicked one of the strange little spores. Okay, Roger ch <laughs> chokes to death. <laughs> Your kick caused some spores to open and spray a fine powder into the air. As a result, you are paralyzed from head to toe, unable to move a single muscle. Oh, oh, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. It's you. The spores are light blue. Oh, oh, okay. Fortunately, the paralysis wears off and you seem to be back to normal. Oh, okay. I didn't die, eh? Oh, Jesus. Christ. This looks like the brains of the operation. Oh, God. You um, see large, plump berries on the bank of bushes in this field. Is anyone getting, like, ball sack vibes from this thing? It's, like, throbbing, huh? Okay, I don't think I want to... Do I... Do I is that okay? Okay, nope, okay. Mmm. Oh, wow. Vi <laughs> graphic. Oh my god! Good. You succeeded in establishing contact with one of this planet's life forms. That was unexpected. The thing exploded, taking you on a one-way trip to that great garden in the sky. If only it didn't look like a maze, you'd probably be able to think a bit more outside the box. Oh my god, okay. You are half right. Your self-sacrifice won't go unnoticed by the many life forms of Le'Veon. Too bad you won't be around to appreciate it. I still have this bunny with a butt plug. Okay, that is probably what's for, what it's for. I don't know what the fuck to do with 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 those, um... Or do, <laughs> or do I throw it by nasty cup? I don't know, huh? Pretty sure I'm supposed to chuck this thing. But let's see. Oh, no, no, no! no. Place the okay. the carcass on the sticky vine plant. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, and it's gonna eat it. Okay, no, it's gonna take it and put it in there. Okay, that made you all uncomfortable. Good explosion to brighten up your day. Ooh, okay. Okay, ch And you thought you'd have to navigate the maze-like vines. Oh, 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 wait. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh, okay, can I walk through this? Oh, it's too, it's too small! It's too short! Oh, okay, I thought, I thought Roger could walk through it. Oh man, the 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 <laughs> the sight of that thing exploding was probably very uncomfortable. All you guys kind of twitched and sort of instinctively cupped your balls, right? Okay, berries. You snag some of the odoriferous red berries. Okay. The strange red berries pack a very pungent aroma. Hmm. Wait, was there anything up here? I, I don't- I don't know if I s I don't think I managed to go up. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a nice little pond. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, okay, wait, what are you? It's a cheetar. A cheetar centaur. Nah, only kidding. It looks dangerous, though. Okay, okay, don't touch the water, huh? Okay, as soon as I wait it up. Oh, oh, I, I can- I can move around, okay. But I- I probably don't want to go too far. You don't want to climb it. Okay. Or, or can I go far? Oh, I can go pretty. I can go pretty far here. Uh, I thought that. I thought that. Oh shit! Oh, there he is. Okay. The swamp monster attacks you with its slimy tentacles. You struggle in vain to free yourself. 
Okay, unfortunately, your desire to breathe in results in the intake of a large quantity of swamp water. It's a, if the lack of oxygen hadn't killed you, the taste of putrid water would have. Okay, they uh, they forgot to record this part or something, huh? You're dead. Better luck next time, Roger. Okay, right, straight and to the point. Ooh, okay. But where are the tentacles? Not being able to breathe really sucks, doesn't it, huh? Oh. Oh, hello, friend. You can see a little guy across the clearing picking some sort of berries from a bush. You startle the odd little pink dude, causing him to bolt into the underbrush. Okay, okay. Let me just go everywhere to, to make sure that pink guy isn't there, huh? Oh, here he is. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. You rub the berries all over your body. Now you smell like a walking ammonia inhalant. Okay, I wasn't able to use the berries on me um, before. I, I can only do it here. Okay. Oh, what? What? <laughs> what? Wait, I still. <clears throat> oh. The swamp monster attacks you with its slimy tentacles. Almost as suddenly, it spits you back out. Okay, thank God. You distinctly hear the sounds of aquatic gagging and retching. Evidently, you had a bad aftertaste from the berries. Oh my god, okay, I thought that was a fucking death scene again, but that it thankfully spat me out. You are hip deep in swamp. Murky water surrounds you on all sides. A few slimy <laughs> trees reach up from the quagmire. Waterlogged and weather beaten trees defy their environment in this murky place. Okay, okay, let's. You have already done that, <laughs> but your graphics card is so amazing that it rendered it before you could see. Even Ooh. if you have a really rubbish graphics card. Even if you don't <laughs> have a graphics card. <gasps> it's like two month old toe cheese from an infected case of oh. athlete's foot, wrapped in mildew with just a hint of spring rain air freshener. Oh, okay, not bad, huh? It's kind of like your car, you guys, huh? You have stepped into a deeper area of the swamp. You are forced to swim. You take a deep breath, filling your lungs to near burst. Oh, okay. And head for the depths below. Oh shit! Oh no 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 no! Oh sh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Is there is there a breath meter? To your amazement, you find yourself in an underwater cavern. The water is much cleaner here than in the swamp above. Okay, okay, okay. I guess there's nothing for it but to, but to keep going, huh? And there's no breath meter, bizarrely. Rock walls look different under the water. Can I touch them? Oh, shit. Oh, oh, what is this? A small boulder with a glowing gem resting on it sits in this air pocket cavern. Okay, a fancy. You take the glowing gem. Okay. Um, was that, is that a soft lock, you guys? If, if I had, if I hadn't found this cavern, that probably, huh? The glowing gem provides a gentle illumination. You're not. No, how do I? Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Once again, you wisely take in a load of air and head below. Okay, and I got I got more points. Oh, okay, nice cannibal. Okay, okay, I can go this way. Okay, and now there's another there's another path over here. Deep brackish water conceals an army of reptiles and parasites. Oh my god. Okay. Sorry, I just thought about leeches, you guys. Um. There would definitely be leeches in, in something like this, huh? You're gross and creepy, and I don't like you. The swamp gases belch at you in response, leaving you feeling burned <laughs> by its retort. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you're gross and creepy, and I don't like you. Oh, Ooh, okay. Okay, I... Oh, no, don't, don't, don't. Smoothly step <laughs> off anything that will support your weight. <laughs> oh, shit. Gravity has its way with you, and you are sucked to the depths of the fissure at a very high rate of speed. Needless to say, you hit the bottom, and your mortal remains are redimensioned to the point where life is no longer an option. Will you never learn? <laughs> and, oh my god! Oh my fucking god, look at the picture! Wait, can you push us over? This and make a long bridge? Dead and seems to be free of the slick secretions as some of the others generate. You begin to shimmy your way up the snag. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, oh shit, okay. Holy log jams, Batman, you almost bit the big one. Oh. 
Okay, no, it's, it's only this way. Oh shit! Oh my fucking god! What is this? Yikes, you have been snared. Suspended above the ground, you are unable to move freely. Oh god. Uh, is this a death, or...? It's telling me to After wait. After a while, the cerebral fireworks begin. Capillaries oh, begin come to on. burst under the strain. You pass out. Is this...? Once again, time passes. Oh, shit. And then, some more time passes. While unconscious, you have the strangest of dreams. Okay, was that scripted? You hallucinate <laughs> that your name is Larry. You are wearing something known as a leisure suit, apparently made of fully synthetic materials and proven to generate large amounts of static electricity. Okay. Oh, oh the dog pissed on me! While prowling a locale known as the Land of the Lounge Lizards, you spend your time badgering women of the area to participate in bizarre mating rituals uh, such as... Just then, consciousness begins to creep in. Oh, oh, I think it's- oh, shit. Your head begins to clear and you realize that you have been imprisoned. Your captor appears to be that large oaf sitting near the fire. Okay. A rope hangs from the large tree. Okay, there's a very comical looking skeleton right here. A skeleton hangs near the cage. A good indicator that this creature does not want you for your janitorial skills. Apparently, this was breakfast. And that must make the skeletal chap nearby brunch. Mm. Okay, okay, it's, it's just a skull, god. These creatures are genetically bred, rigorously trained to subdue the most threatening creatures in the universe. And he has captured you. He looks a little embarrassed about it. Can I talk to him? Uh, hi. My name's Roger. Roger Wilco. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Okay, he didn't really like that. Okay. Okay, what's this smell like? You just keep getting creepier. <laughs> smells hot? Smells like orange marmalade. From here, you think it smells a bit like oregano. At least when you die, you'll have some taste. For once. <laughs> for once? I think he's had enough of that for one lifetime already. <laughs> Licking, yeah, it's just a fucking skull. You came a bit late for brunch. But don't worry, the next meal will probably be you. I mean soon. No, wait, I did mean you. From the looks of that fire, he plans to go the other way around. Are you trying to extinguish the fire <laughs> with your spittle? Who are you, Smokey the Bear? Leave it alone. It won't help. Okay, okay, okay. I I can't reach this. Um... You poke the skeleton. It rattles. I can't reach that rope, obviously. You can't reach the rope. The lock on the door is crude-looking but effective. The rust would prevent anything but the correct key from turning it. Okay, I don't I don't see no key, huh? There is a discarded bone at the base of the tree. You reach out, but you can't get to it. Hmm. Besides, you can't think of anything you would do with it anyway. Okay. You make a heroic attempt at bending the branches that make up your cage. Then you heroically <laughs> rub your sore muscles and whimper for a short while. <laughs> I'm in this damn cage. I'm just desperately trying to lick things. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Okay, no, I'm too late. The hunter stands and takes a long look in your direction. His face, though strange in its own right, bears an expression one might see on a freak show patron. Oh, okay, it's time for you to meet my maker. Oh, shit, what are you doing? Oh, I can do stuff. Stumped again. Oh, shit, oh, no. Okay, damn it. Okay, here's a death, boys. Here's a death. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> the hunter has decided that it's a perfect day for a barbecue. As he slowly turns you over the fire, you begin to turn a beautiful golden brown. Death follows at an agonizingly long distance. Oh my god. Cooking with Roger Wilco. You thought the way he handled that was in bad taste. Oh. 
Oh shit! Oh! Oh shit! Upon impact with the ground, the spore opens and spews its dust into the air. The hunter falls to the ground, paralyzed. Okay, no, 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 no. I wasn't supposed to do that because he's too far. Okay, okay, I need to... The hunter stands and takes a long look in your direction. His face, though strange in its own right... Okay, 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 here, okay. There's a, there's a, there's like a second. No, 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 please. Okay, points. Okay, now he's now he's much closer. On impact with the ground, the spore opens and spews its dust into the air. The hunter falls to the ground, paralyzed. The unconscious body Ooh. seems to be riddled with tiny parasites. Oh God. Okay. Okay. You reach through the yes. bars okay. and take possession of the key. Don't mock the alien, Roger. Smells like a mix between human blood and office supplies. Truly horrifying. Office supplies. You consider stopping to make dirt stroganoff, then you remember about all the escaping you need to be doing. Okay, 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 fine, fine, fine. Um. This key looks to be made rather crudely. Okay, yeah, okay, I know. Okay, yeah, I know. It's it's only it's only temporary. Slip the key into the lock and give it a turn. The lock snaps open. Because when 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 that happened to me, I I, I only had uh some like it, it only knocked me out for about three seconds or something, huh? You already took the only thing of value on him. Better not push it. You have enough restraining orders on your head as it is. Mogo still has pending sexual misconduct allegations against you. I was just trying to find a parking spot. All I did was fly in and out of an inactive volcano near the rear of the planet a few times. <laughs> Yes! Yes! Tongue is immobile! Tongue is immobile! It's, it's the perfect time for it! Look at it! He's wearing a fucking dress! He's obviously a bottom, no body, right? So I'm just like, okay, well, since he's unconscious, I'm just gonna la 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 right? Before he realizes what I'm doing, he wakes up. He's just... <laughs> and just like he's like, what's that? What's 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 that weird sensation I feel on my anus? Right? He just lo slowly looks back, and there's Roger just. <laughs> Next thing you know, broke back lady on, and then we just run away together, right? Our, um, Roger just forgets his life as a mild mannered janitor and and whatever this guy is, right? And they just run away and live in the forest together in matrimonial bliss. Okay, okay, I tried fingering his ass. Roger's done with it, huh? Okay, <laughs> okay, that's all <laughs> that's all I fucking had to do. Oh Jesus, okay. What's what's you that are thing? At the edge of a forest. The boundary is a sheer cliff at the east side of the area. In the distance you see a landing platform, possibly the one which welcomed you to this strange, lush world. Okay, am I supposed the to dense forest separates you from the shuttle platform? It would seem that you're not quite home free yet. Okay, okay. Is, is this where I'm supposed to use the rope? The grass here, is it? It looks mowed. Big scary hunter likes to keep his front lawn all neat and pretty. What a girly man. <laughs> what a girly man. Is, is this, does this go somewhere new? Uh, oh, oh, okay, I'm back here. Or do I, do I go down this crevasse? Maybe, maybe that's it, hey? Spot. <laughs> yeah, okay. I rope to the stump and unroll it down into the chasm. Okay. Head over the edge and down the rope. Okay, no hits, boys, huh? <laughs> oh shit. Oh, what the hell? What the Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Oh fuck. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> you release your grip on the rope. This has a negative effect on your resistance to the urging of gravity. It looks like that stump wasn't a good thing to tie onto. What? What the fuck? Oh, okay, so... Gripping firmly with your legs, you tie the rope to the middle of the makeshift bridge. That seems even less. Okay, that that's really... That's really... I got points for tying it to, to, to the to the log when apparently I'm not supposed to. Oh, okay, you guys you guys can't see it. I'm sorry. Um, but um, right behind my face it says Roger Wilco swing o -matic. So so that that that's the controls that that, that I'm doing um while doing this, you guys, huh? Okay, points. Oh, 
Okay, I I doubt that you, I think you need more. More, Roger, huh? Okay, although, okay, I think that's a cave over on the left side. Okay, okay, we're getting to the point. Okay, he's gonna start gra- Okay, there he goes, okay. Oh! Okay, okay. <laughs> he flips the bird to, to whatever the fuck this is. There is a mammoth member of the local fauna to the right. It looks to be in need of constant nourishment, hence the look being cast at you. Okay, what, uh, what the f- he's just on this like ledge, right? With like no way off. You want me to taste the sky. Are you on acid? If you are, got any left over? <laughs> got any left over? Excuse me while I kiss the sky. Can I talk to this guy? Or thing? Hey buddy, I've gotten a bit fat and cheese filled from my pampered space station lifestyle. Can you give me a hand? The only response from it is a stomach growl. Fuck you, monkey, huh? Ooh, okay. It's, oh, oh, gee, oh my fucking god. O only Roger's blue eyes glow, huh? The encroaching darkness chokes off all light around you. Could you possibly make that statement sound more ominous? Maybe. That was just off the top of my head. How about this? The icy grip of darkness wraps you in an unyielding embrace. Cutting you off from the light of safety. That better? I suddenly have a need for my security blanket. <laughs> my security really? blanket. Really? Do you really have a security blanket? Or are you just trying to make me feel better? I do. Just a little one. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I, uh, what's the smell in here? This darkness holds a dank, earthy aroma. Mmm, dank, okay. Great taste. Oh. Less lighting. <laughs> okay, okay. You take out the gem Ooh. and hold it in your palm. The room is illuminated by its glow. You hear a small shriek and the sound of many oh. footsteps moving away from you. Oh, I, w I wonder if that would. Oh, I wonder if that would have been a death. I would have been eaten to death by rats or something. Oh, 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 shit! What? Oh, wet chewing sounds. The ground what? below your feet disappears. You travel down through the darkness. Ooh. Ooh. That was a rather spectacular entrance. All systems seem to be intact, though. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a... Uh, one of those pink guys. The dwellers mumble something. Your translator responds. Oh, okay, 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 okay.